Well, Brooke and Brad, everyone gathered here today is so very happy that you two have found each other. And with the exciting shared goals that you've clearly established for your future, we know that you'll continue to achieve great things as a couple. We're all rubies in the dust. I always knew that Brad would get a drop-dead gorgeous wife. I just knew it. And why did I knew it? I knew it because I think he deserved it. Brooke and Brad appreciate that they enjoy a partnership that they described as just easy and low maintenance. And they value that they're good mates that can talk about anything. Let me tell you, he's got a big ticker. I consider myself a lucky bastard. I do. I'm blessed because I've had the front row seat to watching my boy, Bradley, grow from a boy to a man and it's been an amazing journey. Hello, Chop. Husband Brad reporting in here. I've been asked to write a few words for our wedding day. And as you are well aware, I'm not very good at putting pen to paper. So I was thinking I would just simply write a few words down to describe what you mean to me. Best friend, my rock, thoughtful, giving, loving, modest, hardworking, funny, perfectionist, a little OCD. Andrew's gone old celebrant, I uh, must admit, he did steal a lot of my material. <laughs> uh, all that romantic stuff, that was all me. Uh, <laughs> thank you, Andrew. It's the most romantic I've ever been, I think. She loves you for who you are and what you stand for. She trusts you implicitly, respects you. I'm very excited to be marrying Brad, my best mate. I really am a very lucky girl and look forward to a life full of love, laughs and happiness with him. I'm really fortunate that my daughter found Mr. Wright but then again, uh, marriage isn't really about finding the right partner, it's about being one. Not so much about just finding one, so it's a really two-way thing. A couple of words of wisdom from a bloke that has been 39, wasn't it, darling? 39 years. Listen to each other and don't interrupt each other. Now, I've been trying to do that for 40 years and I've never got that right. Isn't that the toughest one in marriage? The second one, and I think it was said today, and do say it and try it. Have I told you today that I love you? And it'll bring you back to today. So now, I have great pleasure to declare you husband and wife. Please join with me, everyone. Put your hand up.